What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music again. I'm gonna break down this car's classic. It's really fun to play. I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, thanks for supporting Marty Music, martymusic.com. Let's break this down. All right, so it's in the key of E. We're gonna start with a single note on E, seventh fret, A string, with some palm muting. Those are two different guitars. So one's going. And the other one's going, right? But we're gonna put them together. So we have, and that's just an E power chord, seven and nine. You could even get the low E in there if you want. I do four of them. Then after the fourth one, you go two hits instead of one hit. And then on the fourth one, so it's right into that verse. And you're gonna do palm muting with power chords, and we're doing the E power chord, seven and nine on the A and D. B, which is just the same, thing up to the E and A string, so. Then up a whole step to the ninth fret, which is C sharp. And then to the fourth fret, which is G sharp. So here we are, seven on the A, seven on the E, up to nine, then four, again. On this last one before the next part, it does the first two chords the same. But now we go straight to four, then to five. Just like that. There's another part, and it goes like this, where you just chug those same chords, but the first time it's the fourth fret, and then the next repeat, it's the fifth fret. And they do that at the end of the song, and they do it as, as these little interludes in between the chorus. So it looks like this. It's almost the same chords, but it looks like this. And that's the wee. And so, and, and that's like, we'll call that the interlude. So then we have a verse again, which is the exact same. Okay, the last part before the chorus, the last part of the verse. Then you have the chorus. So that it alternates. And so you've got the E to the B, same as the beginning. Then da da on the A. Then you go up to the nine. And it's da 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 da. 
So on that, repeat. It goes straight up to that nine. And it just alternates those two until it goes to right into that guitar solo. Um, but those are pretty much all the parts of the song other than the solo. And then you just have to remember that that interlude section that kind of combines some of the rhythm you, is this. And so those are the uh, the interludes, not the verse, not the chorus, the other part. So keep keep that in mind, and let's dig into the solo. All right. So the chords underneath the solo are E to B, then up to that C sharp, then to the G sharp, and alternates instead of the G sharp to to the A. So. And there's some cool notes in the solo that emphasize a G-sharp major right there. So it's really cool. So check out the solo. This is the E major pentatonic, so you'd have uh, the root right here on the ninth fret G, and then, then it would go up to 11, and you have that on the A and the D. And then you'd have this right here. So it starts right with this bend on the 11th fret of the G string. Then we're doing a whole step bend on the D string. And we, we do two bends, there's some picking in there. And you're releasing the bend, you know, the bend's coming down natural, you're releasing it to the ninth fret the first time. But then you go back to the 11, bend it up a whole step again, and when you come back down this time, you go. And it's playing over those changes. And so we have. So this next phrase. right in that pentatonic box. We're doing a quick slide with the ring finger, or the 11 of the A. And we're immediately going to nine of the D, hammering to 11, and then going nine of the G. Then I'm going back to 11 of the D, sliding up to 13. And then hitting 11 on the G with my index. So from the top. So sliding down. So that next phrase is a whole step on 12 of the B, back down, and then 10 on the B. Back up, bending 12. And then there's gonna be a pickup note So you can think of it there. 
So, da, 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 up. And you bend that up, and then you hop over to the G with a bend and a kind of tug down bend. Releasing to nine, then whole step bend on D. So. So whole step on 11 of the D, natural, then half step down to 10. So. Then we're doing a whole step bend on the 11 of the B. So let's do it from the top. So when you do that 11 on the B, you release it to the nine natural. And then we have the final part, a slow bend, whole step bend on the 11 of the G. And then we go down from the 12 on the B down that pentatonic. So that last part. So that comes from a classic little country blues riff. And let's just, let's learn the little pieces of it first. You're going like this. So there's these little sixths, sixths, double stops. It's the ninth fret G in high E. You can do your fingers. I'm doing a pick for this particular one. I think they are too, or he is. So you have that, nine on G, nine on high E. Then I, and I'm just, you know, not playing the B string, but my finger's barring down. Then I just go up a whole step and do the same thing on the 11. Then now we go to the new shape. And so that shape is 13 on the G, 12 on the high E. You can bar it across and get your middle finger down on the G. So. And then what I'm doing is I'm using my ring finger and pinky for the rest of it. And then, so now I'm on the 14 G, 14 high E. Then a half step. Then another half step. So it's. I'll show you the phrasing on that, but let's go back to the beginning of the solo. So what I'm doing is I'm doing one, then one. Then when I get to this one, which I'm thinking of is an E triad, I'm just doubling up. I do one here, but then I do, I double up on the 14 G high E. So check it out. 
what it sounds like to me. And then you would have it. So the whole thing kind of slow. part I want to uh, mention is the same thing that is played underneath the solo is also played as uh, an interlude where they're going uh it's the do 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 I can't sing that high of a note but So it's just uh, the changes happen quicker. E, B, C sharp, G sharp, E, B, C sharp, A. Alternates between those. The four, seven, seven, nine, five, then, dun, dun, and then finally to end it. From four, it goes five, seven, nine, and that's how it ends. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe right here to Marty Music and click the bell notification to be notified whenever I make a new video, and I really appreciate that. It really helps the channel. Uh, you can request songs below in the comments. That's it. We'll see you again later. <laughs>